Everyone goes to momentary muscular fatigue in the weaker range of motion. The weak range of motion, we call it that for a reason, because you have the least amount of power production capability there. So like every set of absolutely every resistance training exercise was taken to momentary muscular fatigue at the weakest point. So making this observation, I think the whole talking points, it's not stupid. It's just like, so what? Like, yeah, everybody goes to fatigue in the weak range for everything. So whether you're doing just weak range training or lengthen training or however many names they want to come up, it ends up all being the same. So I think you can just take that entire subject and not pay attention. And with variable resistance, as soon as I can't get to that high weight at the top, then the reps just get shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter until I can barely move. All that fatigue is in the lengthened range of motion, the stretched range of motion, the weak range of motion. Again, whatever you want to call it, focus on full range of motion. I think the lengthened thing is uh, it's just a bit of a distraction. It's not wrong. It's just framing the argument in a way where I think it becomes a lot more complicated than it needs to be. Leave a comment if you think I'm wrong. Also leave a comment if you think I'm right. I like those better, but hey, if I'm wrong, let's discuss it in the comments.